yoga together. And for today's class, I thought I would let our theme be springtime. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely, definitely noticing all of the birds singing in the morning and nice sunshine walks with Joey and seeing some plants maybe start to come up. So we're going to think about springtime today for our theme. We're going to come on to our yoga mat. Come right here. Come lay down. Good boy. There you go. And we'll start with some breath together. We'll warm up our hands nice and fast. Breathing in the smell of the flower and breathing out a dandelion. Good. Breathing in the smell of your favorite flower and blow out a dandelion. Breathing in the smell of a flower and breathing out a dandelion. Nice job. So we're gonna start in our child's pose today, but we're gonna call it our little seed pose. So we're gonna be a tiny little seed on our mat. We'll see if I can get Joey to be a tiny seed too. Good. So we're gonna sit on our knees just like this. We're gonna bring our forehead to the mat. We're gonna take 10 breaths together here. Breathing in and out. We'll count our last five together. Five, four, three, two, and one. We got up little seeds. Nice work. So for our theme of class of spring today, I want you to think in your head what spring means to you. Maybe some animals that you see, maybe some plants that you find, some sounds or shapes. Just think about it. If you're doing yoga at home with a friend or a caregiver, maybe share some of those things together and we'll kind of build off that as class goes together. All right, come stand up nice and tall. We're gonna start with our sun salutation song. So if you know it, sing along together. And we say, stretch up high, reach for the sun, hang down low, tickle your dog, feet jump back just like a frog, belly on the ground just like a snake. Slither, slither, slither. Now downward dog and bark. Woof, woof. And bark. Woof, woof. Jump up just like a frog. Hang down low, tickle your toes. Feet jump up, or sorry, reach up high. Reach for the sun. Hang down low, mountain pose. Good job, we'll try that again. Stretch up high, reach for the sun. Hang down low, tickle your toes. Feet jump back, just like a frog. Belly on the ground, just like a snake. Make the letter S. Maybe stretch up nice and high. Good. Now downward dog and bark, woof. Woof and bark, woof, woof. Feet jump up just like a frog. Hang down low, tickle your toes. Stretch up high, you reach for the sun. Mountain pose, look what I've done. Give yourself a nice big hug. Awesome, let's do that one more time together. We stretch up high, reach for the sun. Hang down low, tickle your toes. Feet jump back, ribbit, just like a frog. Belly on the ground, just like a snake. Maybe we're a rattlesnake this time, make some noise with our feet. Good job. Now downward dog and bark, little bark this time. Woof, woof and bark, woof, woof. Feet 
jump up just like a frog. Hang down low, tickle your toes, stretch up high, reach for the sun. Mountain pose, look what I've done. Wonderful job, my friends. Hopefully that had you feeling all nice and warm. And we're gonna move into another little yoga move to get our body warmed up if you're not quite there yet. And so one of my favorite insects in the springtime is a butterfly. So we're gonna bring our feet to come together just like this. We're gonna start to slowly float our wings. Taking some time to let our legs warm up. Looking good. Okay, you guys ready to sing a song together? All right, I am. So this is our butterfly song, and you're going to sing along with me as you do the same moves that I'm doing, okay? And it goes like this. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. We stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, <gasps> stretch like a butterfly, up so high. Ready? Time to go to sleep for me. Sleep like a butterfly. Sleep like a butterfly. Sleep like a butterfly through the night. Wow. Let's do that again. You gonna come help? Okay, you lay down. All the way. Good boy. <laughs> Joey really loves attention during yoga time. Okay, you gonna help me? We fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Lay down. Good job. We stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly. Up so high. If I just did one side, let's do the other side this time. Stretch again. Stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly. Up so high, time to go to sleep. Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly. Through the night, go all the way to sleep, take a rest. Wake on up, little butterflies. We have one more to do, okay? Get our wings out. Let's flap them really, really fast this time. And freeze. Flap them fast again. Keep going, keep going. And freeze. Okay, time to sing. Last time. Fly like a butterfly. Fly like a butterfly. Fly like a butterfly. In the sky, we stretch. Stretch like a butterfly. Stretch like a butterfly. Stretch like a butterfly. In the sky, go to sleep, Joe. Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly through the night. Go to sleep, little butterflies. Maybe try to stretch your head down. Go to sleep. We sleep for five, four, three, two, one. Wake on up, little butterflies. Looking good. All right. So now we can come stand on up again. We're gonna shake out our wiggles, shake them to the front. Maybe shake them to the side. Shake out all our wiggles and come to the middle. Shake them out to the other side. Shake, shake. Good job. All right. So now we're gonna be another animal with wings. We hear them in the morning, or at least I've heard them in the morning. Oh, we've got a ball this time. So I hear these making noise and chirping in the morning when I wake up. Do you know what animal it is? Is it a bird? Yeah, it's a bird. All right, Joey, we're gonna be a bird. Are you ready? All right, so we're gonna stomp out our little bird legs. We're gonna get ready to take flight, but first we need to do some training. And we're gonna take our arms, we're gonna make our wings nice and wide. And we're gonna take one step forward and we're just gonna float to the front and float to the back. Again, float to the front and float to the back. One more, float to the front, float to the back and bring our little feet together. 
looking nice and good over there. All right, let's get ready to do that on the other side. We're gonna float our wings on out, take a step forward, and we float forward and back, nice and slow, forward and back. Come here, Joe, forward and back. Good, come together. So last week we talked a little bit about distractions, and this is just another example of sometimes when we're trying to do the yoga, something else is going on. So just remember to stay focused, paying attention to what we can control on our mat, and we're gonna be birds again. We'll stretch out our wings nice and wide, maybe make a little bird sound, breathing in and out. <laughs> Sometimes making noises helps us stay focused. So let's do that again, breathing in through our nose and out. That felt good. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in, breathing out. All right. Again, we're gonna reach one foot forward. Doesn't matter which one, we'll do both sides. Flap our little bird wings out nice and wide and we stretch forward, and we stretch back, and we stretch forward, and we stretch back. One more time, stretch forward, and this time we're gonna hold for four, three, two, and one. Come back to the middle. Nice job, give yourself a little shake. All right, switch out to the other foot, the one you didn't do yet. Stretch out your wings nice and big. And we float forward and we float back. And we float forward and we float back. And on this next forward, we're gonna hold again. You can do it nice and strong for four, for three, for two, and one. Come back to the middle. Awesome. So we're gonna try another little yogi challenge with our bird pose. So if this felt really good for you, I'm gonna challenge you to try to take your foot off the yoga mat and we're gonna fly our bird up so high. If you felt like this was pretty challenging, maybe we're gonna just close our eyes and flap our wings, okay? So yogi choice, we can float up nice and tall or we can stay here with our feet on the ground and just try to close our eyes, okay? I'm gonna try to float my foot up this time. So let's take a nice big inhale to get ready. Exhale, bird sound. All right, take a nice big inhale. Planting our foot down and get ready to take flight. We hold for four, three, it's okay to rock, two, and one. Take a landing. All right, let's switch out our feet. You gonna fly, Joe? All right, taking our bird wings nice and wide. Big breath in through our nose. And exhale, take flight. We hold for five, four, three, keep going, two, and one. Nice soft landing. How'd that feel, little birds? Feel good? All right. So now we're going to do another little um, game together. I want you to go on a scavenger hunt. And I want you to try to find something in your house that you can maybe blow with your breath. So that might be a cotton ball, maybe that's a tiny little, bar, like a marble or a bouncy ball. And I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to go find that, okay? So find something that you can blow in your house together, okay? I'm gonna go find mine. Maybe ask caregiver or sibling at home to help you find something if you can't think of something. Maybe it's even some rolled up newspaper, some crumpled computer paper. That would work out really well too. All right, did you find something? I'll show you what I found. I found some little pom-poms. 
And we have what color is this one? A yellow one. Kind of looks like the sun. This orange one definitely looks like the sun, huh? So these are going to be my little props today. And we're going to practice doing some bumblebee breath together, okay? So I'm going to show it just like this, and then we'll use our yoga mat to help out with our uh, something that will blow together, okay? So for our bumblebee breath, it's going to sound like this. We're going to breathe in through our nose. And we're going to breathe out, but we're going to make that buzz sound together, okay? Let's try that. Breathe in through our nose and out. Bzzz. Wow, that was pretty cool. Let's try that again. Breathe in through our nose and breathe out. Bzzz. I think Joey likes it. Should we try it again? This time I want you to, <laughs> this time I want you to try to cup your ears and see what happens to the sound when you cup your ears. You ready, Joey? Okay, breathe in through your nose and breathe out. What happened to the sound? Did it get quieter or did it get louder? Did you say louder? Yeah. Let's try that again. Let's see how loud we can make our bumblebee breath. And if at home, if this is too loud for you, you can just take your hands off your ears and maybe try a soft bumblebee, okay? Let's try one more time. In through our nose and out. Let's listen. Cool. All right. Let's take our props and we'll go back to our mat. And we're going to practice some bumblebee breath on our mat together. Okay. So what I want you to do... <laughs> is we're gonna get nice and low on our yoga mat. We'll see if Joey lays down. And we're gonna come here so they can see. Come right here. Come right here. Lay down. Good boy, lay down. Oh, that's very good. Good job, Wormy. So I'll do it in front of you guys so that you can see. So I want you nice and low on your yoga mat. And we're gonna take a big breath in with our nose. And a big breath out. Try to blow our little pom-poms. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's try that again. Come here so they can see. Lay down. <laughs> Does anyone else at home have doggos that tried to distract them during yoga? I've got one big goofball over here. All right. Breathing in through our nose, out through our mouth. Let's see how we can blow our pom-poms or our balls really far away. Wonderful. Let's try that again. Breathing in, maybe we smell in a flower. And breathing out, maybe you try to make the bumblebee sound this time. Bzzz. What happened when we did that? Did your pom poms or balls move anywhere? Mine stayed put. I wonder why that is. Ooh, maybe that's because when we say bzzz, our breath doesn't move out. Let's practice breathing out through our mouth this time. Breathing in. And then breathing out like we blow out our birthday candle. Try that again. Breathing in and breathing out. Whoa. So I think when we make the sound bzzz, not enough air is coming out of our mouth to move our pom-poms. What do you think? Let's try it again. Let's breathe in. Breathe out. Say bzzz. Does anything happen? No. All right, let's try it again. Let's see the wind this time. Big breath in, big breath out, big gust of wind. Awesome. So if you're at home with a sibling or a caregiver, you guys can practice blowing your pom-poms or maybe your crinkled paper ball back and forth to each other and seeing how far you can blow, like how far the distance is, and see if you can get that breath bigger and bigger. So if you have a partner, Practice blowing back and forth with them. We'll breathe in the smell of a flower. Breathe out. Be the nice breeze. Breathing in. Smell a flower. Breathing out. Be the wind. Wonderful. Last time. Biggest inhale. And exhale. 
Whoa. All right. Go put your crop somewhere else. Oh, now we've got a kitten to come help us. Oh, kitten wants those little palms, huh? All right. Cool, guys. So now we're going to do another little stretch. And come here, bud. <laughs> so for this stretch, we're going to call it well, what, what kind of animals maybe do we see? Do we see in the springtime? Animals or insects? What do we think? Hmm. Have you guys ever seen a praying mantis before? They look pretty cool. So for our praying mantis pose, we're going to come right down like this. Good. And we're going to have our little praying mantis arms out just like this. And we're gonna rock side to side. We're gonna rock one side, maybe try to reach. Rock the other side and reach again. Good, one side and reach. The other side and reach. Take a big breath in. Go back up so you can see me a little bit. Good, come back down. Praying mantis pose again. We reach one side. We reach out with our arms with the other side. One side. And then the other side. Good, breathing in, come all the way up. And breathing out, hey you two. Reach one side, and then the other side. Good, reaching one side, and then the other side. Lift on up nice and tall. Good, now this time we're gonna hold our little praying mantis pose for a little bit longer. Come way down. Now I want us to take a second and we're going to count some breaths together, okay? We're going to count 10 praying mantis breaths. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Hi, baby Q. Are you doing some praying mantis breath? Good job. Now we're going to come on our bottom. I'm going to try to sit in front of you so you can see me a little bit better. Good. So those praying mantis breaths really warmed up my legs. So I'm going to try to give them a nice, another little stretch here, okay? We're going to stretch up nice and tall. And we're gonna float to one side. Maybe this is our uh, bending little blade of grass stretch. Do you know how when there's some really tall grass in the wind, it kind of moves side to side? We're gonna pretend like we're that blade of grass bending side to side. Nice and slow, breathe in, little breeze, and we stretch to the other side. Good, breathe in. Let the wind bend us over to the other side. That feels great. Let's do a couple more. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Breathing in, let's come meet in the middle. Stretch up so high, say hello, sun. And go to sleep, say hello, moon. And we hold for four, three, two, one. Wake on up. Nice work. All right, let's try that again. We'll move to one side and the other side. But this time we're gonna take a little pause and we're gonna tickle our toes, okay? So stretch up so high, so high. Float over to one side. See if you can tickle your toes. See if maybe you tickle your knees, maybe you tickle your legs, give them a good squeeze. Good, come back to the middle, arms come up so high, so high. And float to the other side, tickle our toes, maybe tickle siblings' toes or mama's toes, tickle our knees, give them a good squeeze. Wonderful, come back to the middle, reach up so high, say hello, sun. And reach our forehead down. Hello, moon. Go to sleep. Breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. 
All right, nice big breath in. And reach up so high and pull to one side. Tickle our toes. Maybe you tickle your knees. Squeeze our legs. Good. Come back, reach up so high. And go to the other side. Tickle our toes. We tickle our knees. Maybe squeeze our legs. Last time we say, hello, sun. And hello, moon. Go to sleep. Last big inhale, nice and slow. And exhale, walk our feet back, or walk our hands back to our legs. Awesome job. If you need a little sip of water, feel free to take one. All right. Okay, yogi friends. So for our next little bits of class, we're gonna try to slow our garden down. Sometimes when we plant our seeds, we do a lot of work in the day. And then we do some slow, gentle work on the inside so that way our seeds can grow, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna lay on our yoga mat, on our back, and we're gonna do some nice little twists, okay? So I think you guys can still see me if I lay right here. So we're gonna have our legs out in front of us. We're gonna have our head back right here. Move on over, bud. We're gonna just lay down right here. I want you to try to think about what it means to be nice and still as we slow our body down. Big breath in, big breath out. Good job. So we're gonna bring our knees up into our chest. We're gonna give ourselves a nice big hug. And we're gonna look like a tiny little seed again. Maybe we rock side to side. Maybe we rock up and down. We're gonna stay in a tiny little ball, just like a seed. What's inside of a seed is a little tiny plant. And that plant grows bigger and bigger as we water it, and we put it in soil, get sunlight. The most important thing is it gets a lot of love. And so when we do yoga, we get to send love to ourselves, or love to our caregivers or our siblings and our community. And sometimes that's the most important part. So as we slow down, it's a really good self-love practice. But you can let go of your legs, let our feet go in front of us. Maybe we stretch our arms up really high this time. And take a nice big breath. Slowly, we're gonna hold on to just one leg this time. Maybe pick your right leg like me. And you're gonna give your right leg to the opposite side of your body. We're gonna flop on over to our left side. And we're just gonna be still as we do our little seedling stretch. We're starting to open up our little seed pod tiny little ball, and now we're starting to peek out just a little bit. Big breath in, big breath out, come back to the middle, stretch your arms up over your head, maybe point your toes away from you. Big breath out, grab your opposite leg, for me that was my left leg, and give it a nice big hug. Now as we try to break open our seat a little bit more, stretch on over to the right side. Nice side stretch. Good. Big breath, come back to the middle. Stretch on up high, point your Give yourself a nice big hug. Come back to our little seat and rock and roll as we come to sit up. Taking your time as we meet in crisscross yogi sauce.
All right. So I have another little song for us. Um, have you guys heard the garden song before? This song's gonna sound a lot like that, but we're gonna do it a little bit different with a yoga twist to it. And this is gonna be our geyser breath song. Okay, so our geyser breath is gonna look like this. We're gonna breathe in, breathe out. Big geyser breath. We're gonna breathe in, breathe out. Okay. Oh, little Q is doing some good geyser breath here. <laughs> All right. So this is a good song to sing. If you need to get out some jitters, yeah, I'm talking about you, baby Q. If you need to get out some jitters, you have a lot of energy, you can sing this song and it'll help. Okay, so it goes like this. Breath by breath, pose by pose. I'm gonna make this body grow. I love yoga cause I know that it feels so good inside. When I wake up and I'm mad, not a good thought to be had. Guys are pose, it makes me glad. Ready, big breath in, big breath out. Cause I get those grumpies out. Nice work. Let's try that again. Ready? Maybe this time you can do it with a little movement. We'll rock side to side. Maybe touch our toes again. Ready? We do breath by breath, pose by pose. I'm gonna make this body grow. I love yoga cause I know that it feels so good inside. But maybe this time, we're gonna roll our shoulders as we sing this part. When I wake up and I'm mad, not a good thought to be had. Geyser pose always makes me glad. Ready, breathe in, breathe out. Cause it gets those grumpies out. All right, let's do that one more time. Maybe we do our movement again, ready? Breath by breath, pose by pose. I'm gonna make this body grow. I love yoga cause I know that it feels so good inside. All right, let's move our shoulders. When I wake up and I'm mad, not a good thought to be had. Geyser pose sure makes me glad. Ready, breathe in, breathe out. Cause it gets those grumpies out. High five your friend if you're doing some yoga with them or maybe caregiver, mom or dad. And say, good job. All right, we're gonna move into some mindfulness practices next. And so mindfulness for me means paying, <laughs> watch out. Mindfulness for me means paying attention to the present moment. So I'm not really focused on what happened yesterday. I'm not focusing on what happened tomorrow. I'm focusing right here right now. Mindfulness usually makes me feel really calm and grounded. So it's a good thing to practice every day so that you can kind of tune in and calm down if you need to. Maybe you've been moving a lot today, doing lots of schoolwork at home, and this will help us feel nice and calm, okay? So I've got my little water timer here, and we're just going to watch, okay? i got to scoot over my dog. Watch out. Go on. So come up nice and close if you're watching on an iPad. And we're gonna look at what our little water timer does here, okay? I want you to think about what colors you see, maybe what shapes you see, and if it's moving fast or slow. Let's take a look. Oh, what do you see? I see red on one side, and I see blue on the other side. What shapes do they look like? Hmm, you see a square? Do you see a circle? I think Q sees a circle, she knows. Yeah? How about the speed? Are they moving fast? Or are they moving slow? I think they're moving kind of fast. What one do we think we'll finish first? Who's gonna win? Ooh, is it the blue? Or is it red? 
think it might be blue. Red's still going. Kind of look like little ants, right? You ever see ants at the picnic trying to eat all your snacks? Little snack thieves. Almost done. Last couple drops. Now, how are they moving? Moving fast or are they moving slow? I think they're moving slow. Cool. So caregivers at home, um, making water timers is a really great activity, especially if they're trying to learn maybe some science of like what settles. So you can make a water timer at home with some soap and water, put some glitter or something in there as well. You can find a bunch of cool crafts online. It would be really cool too. Um, maybe we'll talk about Young Yolks doing like a post of how we make our own DIY water timers at home. I think that might be a really cool idea. So maybe we'll have that coming out for you um, after this, maybe sometime next week. So wonderful. Thanks, guys. I hope you really liked that. And we're gonna move into some um, additional mindfulness practices. So we did some good breath work with our bumblebee breath before. This time we're gonna do breath with our breathing ball. If you don't have a breathing ball at home, that's okay too. We can do some um, breath with our hands, okay? So you're gonna mimic what my breathing ball does and you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna put them together. We're gonna breathe in really big through our nose, fill up our lungs and breathe out. Nice and small again. Let's try that together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. One more time together. Okay. So now we're going to do it with the breathing ball. And we'll do five yogi breaths together. You can do your breathing ball at home. Maybe you close your eyes. If you want to keep them open, that's okay too. Yogi choice. All right. Breathing in nice and slow. And out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. How's that feel? I usually feel really calm after I do breath work. I feel kind of heavy in my body and my heart feels nice and still and calm. All right. So now we're going to do a little bit of a mudra meditation. So a mudra is something that we do with our hands. And it's a shape we make as we sit in crisscross yogi sauce in quiet time meditation. And so this is what our Mudra is going to look like today. We're going to take our two fists together and we're going to have our big thumbs touch. Okay, I'll show it to you just like this. You're going to make our fists together and our thumbs come up just like this. It's kind of like saying okay, but then you bring both of your okays together. It's double okie dokie. Okay, I'll show you again. Right. So this one's really good for determination. So when we think about those little seeds that we plant, what does it mean to be very determined? It means being very focused, having a lot of willpower, working really hard so that we can become those big, beautiful flowers. So this is going to be a good mudra to do if you're trying to work through some stuff. Maybe you've got some big uh, homework assignments or some projects you're doing. You need to be very determined to get them all accomplished, okay? So we're going to hold our mudra out right in front of us. If you if your arms get tired and you'd like to hold them down um, on your legs, that's okay too. And we're gonna sit for three quiet minutes, okay? If sitting is uncomfortable for you, you can also lay down on your yoga mat. Always make sure you're comfortable, okay? Taking a big breath in, big breath out. We're gonna have our determination mudra in front and thinking about what that means big breaths in and out at your own pace and 
sometimes when we meditate, we have a lot of thoughts in our head. And I just want to let you know that that's okay. Sometimes I get distracted. But what's really important is to come back to our breath and slowly focus on maybe a certain idea. We focus on our mudra. Maybe we think about one of our favorite animal poses today. Just think and focus. going you can do it nice slow breath hold our determination hands nice strong hands in the smell of the flower, breathing out all our worries. Almost there. And on down, buddy. Okay, let's take one big community breath in through our nose. Wake on up. And community breath out. <sighs> Hands come to heart center. Let's do that again. Breath in. Wake on up. Breath out. <sighs> Again, breath in and breath out. All right. How'd that feel? Good. Awesome. All right. So to close our class together, we're going to say three things. You can repeat after me. We say yoga makes me strong. Yoga makes me kind. Yoga makes me peaceful. I appreciate you all being here on a Friday. Um, just a little heads up, we are changing our class times for next week. I believe now they will be at three o'clock um, p.m. So we know that a lot of kiddos are at home doing schoolwork, so we wanted to be accommodating. We will still have our caregiver class, I think, earlier. Uh, check online on our Facebook and on our website so that you get that information and you don't miss out. We'll also list um, the Zoom code, and I believe you register to get the password to get in there. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you, and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.